All right, guys, how are you doing? I want to talk about women in the Bible. So let's do a quick Bible study. Basically, you have women in the Proverbs um, that talk about women who um, are wicked and then a good woman, a virtuous woman. So how do we as women watch what we do and make sure we are living for Christ? I think the biggest safeguard is going to be loving Christ with all of our heart. That's what we want to do. Um, I am for a woman, so um, if you've had like a worldly past like I have had growing up, I mean sometimes you don't know what you don't know, but we do know that there are certain things that we can do and we should do and we shouldn't do, right? So for example, um, I was watching this video, right, and they say the eyes are the window of the soul. So we want to make sure we are watching what we do with our eyes. I mean, I am big on chapstick. I tend to bite my lips sometimes. I did that since I've been little and my mother was like, stop biting your lips. When I get nervous, I can go like, you know, like that. I used to. I don't really do that anymore. But um, we don't want to draw. Even in the church, women can be very worldly, okay? So we don't want to draw men to our lips. Um, I did a video yesterday on keeping your lips smooth. We don't want to draw them to our lips. We don't want to use our eyes to do things that we shouldn't do. We want to try to be really careful that we are um, being the best example we can to men. Um, I think there is a time that men do need to take responsibility for what they put their eyes on. They should be looking at women in their eyes, not their chest not their body, um, but we also should be being careful how we act around men, right? We can joke around, but we don't want to be, you know, we can be playful, but not like flirting with men and being like, you know, I, I want you. We as women should enjoy masculinity, and I know that's hard for a lot of women because you, you know, you may have had neglectful men around you. You may have had men who were toxic around you. So you want to be able to enjoy good masculinity, receive it, be nurturing, and, um, you know, just receive what men can offer. Like when you are at work, they should be taking the heavy stuff for you. They should be leading and helping you. So that's what I got for now, ladies.